Sports Media. This is Sync Sports. This is a Sync Broadcasting Production. And welcome back to another edition of Sync Sports, a subsidiary of Sync Broadcasting. With me in the studio, of course, uh, I'm Abe Blunt, and this is... The Gravy Train. The Gravy Train. Yes, uh, Gravy. Yeah. I'm okay. calling myself these days, I don't know. Anyways, yes, so sports, my friend. Happy New Year, by the way. Yes, oh yeah, we haven't done a show yet, have we? Yeah. Have we? Nope. Um, yeah, sorry, man, I'm just trying to regroup. Um, uh, just, yeah, yeah, we got the All-Star game coming up here. Mm-hmm. The the teams are on, have been on a break, it seems like two weeks now, Calgary oh, and yeah. Edmonton. Yeah. What the fuck is going on with this the scheduling and stuff? It's like I thought it, the I thought the All Star game was going to be this past weekend, mm-hmm. and now it's another week off here. I know, like we're not getting back to action until what Tuesday. Like I know the the Oilers and Flames are in action on Wednesday, but like Tuesday the league opens back up for games and Tuesday next Tuesday. Yeah, so we got the All Star game happening this week. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's really quickly talk about the All Star game. Let's. Um, I, I, I look at the all-star game like it depends on where you are in your life. If you're a young kid or a t- even a teenager up to about 15 or 16 years old, uh, maybe even up to 20, you know, the all-star game is a lot of fun. It was. You know, it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I remember is that when I was a kid, um, it was, it was, it was, uh, it made the game more human, humanized the game yeah. when you saw... Uh, you know, rougher players that were selected as all-stars, like, for example, Wendell Clark or, you know, those guys who had the skill, but they were still rough and tough and mean guys, joking around, having fun yeah. with other players. Like, it saw, it saw the uh, basic human qualities of these, these players. And when you're a little kid, you see that, and uh, that's what makes it fun. You know, but, but uh, for me nowadays, we talked about this before, I just, I, I don't even watch it anymore, especially the last six years, the way the NHL's gone with all speed and less hitting. They're, you know, our, our, our guys like Cassian or Lucic, those guys, they get uh, reviewed now for big hits or, mm-hmm. or protecting themselves after a hit. Yeah. Um, you know, there's, uh, they're, they're, they're definitely taking that out of the game. And so now we have to sit here and watch a season-long all-star game pretty much until the 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 playoffs start once the playoffs start then we get our old school hockey back which Mm -hmm. is a lot of fun to watch but um that's why that that is the biggest reason why i'm not a fan of the all-star game nowadays yeah um and and also throwing in the age the age uh um demographics yeah so what 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 are your thoughts on the all-star game like what do you remember as a kid uh, well, back when I was a youngster, I think my favorite moment was the Owen Nolan, Owen Nolan calling the shot. Yes, and he, he yes. scores, and I think he got like four goals that game. It was that was tons of fun. But uh, back then, I was a kid. I don't know if I would enjoy that nowadays. I don't think I would if uh, you had like um, Matthew Kachuk calling a shot and scoring. I don't know if I'd find such joy in it these days. But what if it was Cassian? Same. No, it's just. Uh, those moments aren't as magical. It does cater to a younger audience. I think uh, what I still get engaged in is the skills competition, which happens um, this Friday coming up. So, um, you know, seeing the hardest shot, the fastest skater, that's what engages me, not the All-Star game itself. Um, yeah, I don't... Uh, I, like, I'm more... Uh, I, I'm more, like, not a fan of it, but there are elements... Like, I, I found myself... I'm not sure if it was last last All-Star game or two years ago but I watched it and um, I found it interesting like, I, I found it like it's like a mini playoffs right they got all what is it is it eight teams four teams on each side I think so, it yeah. out to the finish yeah. and they what is it is it four on four three on three three on three yeah so, so I think it's like 12 players per tween, team or something like that I can't remember yeah not a big roster nine or something but anyways whatever um but uh, yeah, I found it interesting, but it, it wasn't like, you know, like I watched it the next year or I'm going to watch this year. I'm just I'm going to pass again. I'm going to be like the, the, the non all stars in the NHL and just go do something else. For that yeah, definitely not to weekend. not to, not building my calendar around the particular event, building the calendar for after it. Yeah. 
Like, I'll watch that skills competition. I, I still fucking love it. But, um, yeah, as far as the All-Star game, if there's nothing on TV and that game is on, I'll probably put it on and then be on my phone the entire fucking time. Right, man. Well said. Yeah. So that's 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 our thoughts on the All-Star thing. Uh, fiasco. Yeah. Uh, fiasco, if you, if, uh, if you will. Um, yeah, um... Yeah, I don't know what else to say on that. It's uh, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it being. Uh, I want to say I know you're a Christmas guy. Oh yeah, huge. But Christmas for me, guy. it's kind of like that. You know, I no, I enjoy Christmas a little bit more. I guess you could say, but it's kind of like that. I'm the type of guy that uh, is is breathing a sigh when it's over, mm-hmm. taking down the tree on you know January second or third but i know you like to keep the tree up to like march. the tree is still up until, as, until march uh, today is january 23rd yeah. the tree is still up in the living room mm-hmm. for reals mm-hmm. yeah. wow do you so do you, you get a christmasy vibe like is it does it still feel like christmas in your house or is it is it uh you uh it's just there it's it's just kind of there it could be a lazy thing but um I, I still like looking at the the lights every now and then. Yeah, yeah. Th- thinking of uh, Chris Kringle mm-hmm. dancing around the tree, eating up the cookies and the milk, and leaving gifts behind for you and your your loved ones. Mm-hmm. The old Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yes, that shit. Nipping at your balls. Yeah. Um. Okay, so that that's uh, that's that for uh, the All Star game. Um, what else we got? We got to look at here. Uh, did you want to touch on any other sports that are going on here? Like, uh, for example, we got the uh, uh, Super Bowl coming up, right? The right Super corner. Bowl, yeah. Green Bay is we got uh, the, uh, a toot there, which is meaningless now. Yeah, Green Bay got bye bye Green Bay, and um, I actually watched my first NFL football game mm-hmm. this past weekend. Um, I've been since the start of the year. I've, I've been kind of actually last year. I've been watching that uh, Mahomes, yeah, from Mahomes. the Chiefs, yeah. And uh, the, the reason I've, I've been kind of watching them is just because of the colors of their jerseys. I feel like it's a mix of the old school Calgary Flames jerseys and the Stampeders throwing some like, well, you know, I think I'm going to cheer for this team for the next couple of years. And also the Chiefs, mm-hmm. the indigenous uh, oh, yeah. uh, flavoring, if yeah. you will, splash of indigenous um, culture. But, mm-hmm. um, what, and one thing I was talking to uh, Randy upstairs in the C Studios. Uh, tower uh, up there in his office um, I was talking to him about the um, um, I like the Chiefs how they, they just got the name and they don't have a flaming Indian face <laughs> or Tomahawks or Chief Wahoo from the yeah Indians. yeah or some you know like uh, Chicago's got the Indian face on the yeah. front of the Tomahawks and uh, you know there's a lot of them that just have the it, I like how it's just cleaned up to just the Chiefs. I know the fans do the, yeah, the old Tomahawk and then the singing and all that, but yeah. but I do like that it's toned down and it's dialing it down a little bit. Just yeah, it's not like having a, you know like um, I don't know if I want to go there with cultures and and, and uh, do stuff like yeah. that. But but anyways, that's that's not that's another reason why I like the Chiefs. It's toned down and uh, it's respectable. But um, so I've been kind of following them last year but I watched my first I didn't watch them in the playoffs last year I know they got eliminated I'm not sure how early or whatever but right. uh, this year they're, they're going a little further there they're going to the Super Bowl they are uh, but uh, yeah um, that that's my reason by getting behind the Chiefs and that watching that young Mahone fucking 24 year old and the coach allows him to call a lot of the plays yeah. well that's trust that's trust uh, into a, such a young, young fella. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, a promising future ahead of him. So uh, I'm glad that he's going to be able to see the the big, big game this year, and should be an exciting showdown. A little bit embarrassed. Who are they playing? Ah, straight vodka. Yeah. Solid. Who are they playing again? Um, the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, the uh, Green Bay Forty uh, Niners. Uh, yes, 49ers. 49ers okay. against the uh, Casey. Um, uh, uh, actually, you know, we'll wrap up this football talk. Uh, okay. I'm not sure how much of uh, 49ers you've been watching, but I heard that they were 
Zero. Very little NFL. So we're 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 kind of we're kind of just trying to keep it not not all hockey. We're yeah. we're we're doing our best. Yeah. You know, it's probably like an NFL fan trying to talk about the NHL, mm-hmm. right? But uh, um, the 49ers, they were the uh, or the, the Packers were the underdog, and I was surprised with uh, Aaron Rodgers as quarterback. And yeah. Their history, but they they were the underdog going in. So it kind of looks like. Uh, this is going to be um, the better matchup of the two teams, and uh, uh, Randy, the big guy upstairs, yeah. he's he watches every football game throughout the throughout the uh, the winter. I guess you could say the season. I like how you make him sound godlike. Well, he, he, when, when it upstairs. comes when it comes to NFL, he is godlike. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what is that? Like his balls? Yeah. What is what is that? His feet, maybe? I'm Randy, old, the I'm big old. guy upstairs. <laughs> Why are we massaging? Why are we, yes. Um, but anyways, yeah, no, he's, he, he's uh, I get a lot of the input from him uh, on the NFL and stuff, and uh, he, he was, he thought the Ravens were going to take out the Chiefs in the first round there, and he was, he was floored. And a lot of the, the broadcasters have been a lo- wrong. You know, the last game I watched, uh, three of the four broadcasters said that, uh, the Chiefs were going to lose that game, and you know what? They never corrected themselves after the broadcast. They didn't. They just went on. They started talking about how good the Chiefs are, how good the quarterback, how good the all this stuff is. But uh, no, no, not one of them said, "Oh, I'm, I'm, I was wrong," and I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> never once could they say, "Oops, oops, I did it again." Yeah, classic. That was bad. Sorry. Okay. Um, so yes, uh, I'm going with Chiefs to win the Super Bowl, and I think it's going to be. In, uh, they're going to do it in four. Um, I'm just kidding. It's it's one four. game. Yeah, wow. I'm like four. I'm like four points. <laughs> four or? minutes. Yeah. Uh, I'll just see what you would say to that. Yeah, it threw me off. I was like, like you were a bit stymied. How do I play with that one? So uh, what do you? I know you're not a big. Uh, watch the these teams. So we're you gonna just throw something out there, or like a or a hail mary. Yeah, and then act like I knew all along. Yeah, and then and then, the and then when you're right. wrong, and then when you're wrong, start uh, complimenting the winning team. Yeah, but, like uh, those were your 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 strong predictions yeah. of why this team is good. So uh, what are you gonna say, 49ers or or the Chiefs? I will go 49ers Ooh. by two touchdowns. Wow. I'm gonna say it's gonna be Chiefs by uh, by a field goal and a touchdown. I think it's gonna be a field goal and a touchdown. I think it's gonna uh, I think it's gonna be close, and then I think they'll get the touchdown. But we'll see. Yeah, I can I can very well. If I'm wrong, I will fucking come on the show and say I'm wrong. By the way, I owe you an apology, um, uh, a blunt, Mr. Mm-hmm. Blunt. Uh, excuse me. Nice. There I go again. Right when I'm apologizing about uh, eating all that food yeah. on the last show and uh, being gassy, fl- flagellant, uh, flagellant, I, I I watched the show and I was somewhat uh, appalled in, in my my mannerisms, and so I, I do owe uh, you and uh, anybody who, who watched that show and appalled. That yeah. was that was disgusting. Yeah. Anybody who suffers from misophonia, we do apologize for that. You could, uh, you know, you, uh, you handled it. The best you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was professional the way you did it, but at the same time, I, I, I do apologize. That, that was, was a wonderful disgusting. fart, by the way. That wonderful. was Top fucking, notch. fucking disgusting. It was so gross I didn't even smell it. So, <laughs> anyways, continuing on with the show here. Um, so we got uh, a tennis player that moved on as well. I see yeah. here. Um, yeah, is that damn thing not? I'm trying to lock her in. Cocksucking. She keeps sliding down. Sliding down. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, yeah, so we have. Um, God damn it! People messaging me on this Facebook thing. Here. Los Ronis. Uh Yes, he uh, advances at the Australian Open. Of course, uh, our uh, Bianca is is not in it. She's gonna. She's uh, healing up her knee. Uh, so we have uh, a Canadian moving on, and a very nice picture. Yep. Of, uh, him taking a selfie with him in a. A young lass, with yeah. her, her tongue is sticking out here, and uh, rather shapely, yeah. shapely uh, young lady. A voluptuous, yeah. Voluptuous. Uh, 
hourglass uh, figure. So, um, yeah, so he moves on. Uh, we don't know fuck all about tennis, so that's yeah. all we can fucking say on that. However, you can see that photo on the sync broadcasting. Uh, <laughs> yes, I guess I should have read my own article. Page. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, while we're on football, uh, just uh, Stan Peters are rebuilding. I'm not sure what the Eskimos are doing. I know they got the new coach there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Milanovic, I want to say. Milanovic, yes, yes. Scott Milanovic, yeah. Scotty, that's what I call him. So that's exciting. Uh, I know they just picked up a player, I want to say, from Saskatchewan, but I don't know his uh, his name. I don't uh, I don't follow it so closely in the off season. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, we'll just switch over to the NHL here in some Edmonton Oilers talks. The Battle of Alberta is coming up, so it should be, uh, I think it, there's going to be more fireworks than Cassian is, uh, leading us to believe. Mm. Uh, he was on a pod, he, uh, he's got a podcast show. Did you know that? I didn't know yet. He's got, he's got a podcast show and he was talking to, uh, two of his, uh, cronies on the, uh, god damn thing. That's all right. I'll try and tighten it up. Yeah. Oh, I think you're losing. Am I losing it? I think you've been... Yeah, I've been losing it the entire there, time. There we go. There we go. Solid. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I think uh, Cassian uh, is downplaying for something that's going to be a little more explosive because we're, we're talking about points here. Like, emotions going to be... Everyone, all the emotions going to be running high. It's the final stretch. Calgary... Uh, at this point last year, they had a good lead going into the final. They had a good 12-point lead on a lot of teams. And uh, so they say last year that was their our Achilles heel, I guess you, you could say. Yep. Uh, so they kind of took the their feet their foot off the gas pedal and coasted into the playoffs, ultimately getting fucking ragdolled by, uh, by Colorado. But uh, this year, I think this is going to bode them well going down stretch. And th- there's, I think there's going to be a couple moves too. But uh, so Cassian, he's uh, saying it's uh, it's kind of nothing uh, exciting will be happening for the next two games. Mm-hmm. But he said uh, after that, he says he, he, he something's going to happen. I think pro- he's probably alluding to him and uh, Mister Kachuk there. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, um, the NHL has stepped in and advised. I think they advised both teams to kind of. Dial it down a little bit, and George Peros is going to be in attendance at the next game on January twenty. Oh, the former duck. What's yeah, he, what's he doing there? He's the director of player safety. Oh, I thought you saw. He, he's the one that gave Cassie his suspension. So he's going to be in attendance at the game. They're going to be keeping a close eye on it, making sure that everything is uh, reasonable out on the ice. Right. Right. So, I think this game think, is uh, overselling itself. I, I what do you think of the billboard uh, uh, circus uh, that's taking place right now? Uh, if anybody doesn't know, in, in uh, Edmonton, uh, they put up uh, billboards of uh, Kachuk, right? Mm-hmm. 19 Kachuk and says... Uh, friendship tour or something like that? Friendship tour. And uh, down in Calgary, the uh, Cassian, right? I do believe it. I don't think we put... I don't think... Uh, that, uh, didn't the Flames no. put a billboard up or something like that? Um, or the Oilers put something up down there? No. Like, right now, I know that they're, they're like, going back and forth in terms of, like, charities. Right. Uh, I know... Oh, okay. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that went up was the uh, the Kitchuck billboard here in Edmonton. I saw. I saw it on uh, Facebook there. I haven't yeah. seen one face-to-face. Flesh to flesh. Flesh to flesh. Flesh, flesh to uh, metal. Yeah. Or flesh to... Paper? Glass? Some of them are... are uh, material? Pla- yes, flesh to material. There we go. Uh, but I haven't seen one yet. Um, yeah, so... My, my thoughts on it is it's... It's good for the game? It's, oh, it's great for the game. Like, uh, the... If you look at the last game between... Like, not the, the one that happened with this brouhaha between Cassidy and Kachuk, but the game previous to that where Calgary kind of walked over Edmonton and it was fucking dull as tombs. Um, this is so much better. Like, the fans are engaged, the players are engaged, uh, the NHL is keeping an eye on both teams, so um, this is awesome. I, I love the game and ship. I love the the shots across the bow at one another. Right, um, right. It's swell. I dig it. Yeah. I don't know if this 
thing's fucking playing, man. It's playing. It's changed. Oh, has it? Yeah. Okay. Still working. <laughs> Still working on shit here. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, yeah, that's that's it's good for the Battle of Alberta. It's good for the game, and uh, we're gonna see the twenty ninth. Twenty seventh. There it is. Uh, is there a twenty seventh game too as well? Back no. To backs. There's back to backs. No, twenty seventh is like Monday. I don't know why I said. And where's it? Where's the twenty ninth? Is that uh, Edmonton? In Edmonton. Yeah. Okay. And then when's the next one in Calgary? We would have to uh, give that a quick look. So okay, we'll do a quick Google here. Um, but I'm certainly looking forward to the matchup. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as fireworky as everyone would anticipate, just based on the fact that there's going to be so many people watching and. They're going to be wanting, like the new NHL, staying out of the box. Nobody wants to fucking, you know. Uh, so we got a game on the 29th here. Yep. And then we got a game on the uh, the 1st. Yeah. And that'll be in Calgary. Calgary, uh, the 29th is in uh, Edmonton. So we're going to have to suit up in a fake Oilers jersey and go watch the game. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do from now on, too, to be honest with you. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go purchase an Empton Oilers jersey. How will that feel on your side? And I, I don't give a, a flying fuck anymore. I'm so sick and tired of just idiots at that game. Like, I mean, I'm not saying all Oilers fans are idiots. And even those Oilers fans that watch the idiots, the drunk idiots, they shake their head. Like, they, at the end of the day, they realize that everyone's there to enter, be entertained at a, at a hockey game, you know? But you got people who are throwing like pennies or jujubes or you know shit like that at you when you're sitting there trying to watch a game, especially when you're sitting there with a kid or something. Oh yeah. You know I this was years ago, uh, probably like 2008 or something. I took uh, a youngster to the game, and that's what happened. They're throwing pennies, and and finally one went off my shoulder and landed in front of me on my feet, and I just I lost it. I, I completely lost it. I, I picked it up and I walked up to the security guy at the top of the steps and I said, if I get one more of these thrown at me, one more, um, I'm warning you right now. Like, take care of it before something happens. Um, and the people were listening there and some of the other fans were, yeah, we know who it is. It's pointed that these, these two fucking drunk idiots, right, with their hat backwards and their... And they're like, oh, it wasn't us, it wasn't us, right? But anyways, so, um, I feel like, why well, put myself through that shit? I'm just going to get an Oilers jersey with, like, perhaps, you know, uh, a Russell, maybe, a former Flame or something. that has a bit of a tie to it, right? So, the real and that, that, way, that way I can just walk in there. Nobody fucking bothers me. I can still cheer for the Flames. People are going to be like, what the fuck? Like I do with that Oilers jersey, cheering, man, standing up, yeah, arms flapping in the air, like it's nineteen ninety nine. Maybe you can wear your like flame shirt underneath your jersey, and <laughs> yeah, just kind of pull up and be like, "What? What? We wouldn't do that with our shirts right now." No, no, those pictures we uh, we send pictures to one another. This sounds a lot dirtier than um, we were like comparing. Out of really? shape bodies. Oh, okay, okay. Is what we were doing, and and yeah, there were they were not flattering on on either side. Uh, Gravy has made great strides. He's lost how many pounds? I've lost there? twelve, but yeah. there's still a lot of fat there. Yeah. I, on the other hand, have kind of staled out, and I'm like sitting at my two thirty, in between two thirty and two thirty five, mm -hmm. and have not made any progress. Yeah, it's 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 eating and sticking to. Uh, working up but most importantly it's eating you just got to cut the garbage out period done yeah. i'm like i'm like uh strictly on a, a meat diet That's very protein, eh? yeah very little like no bread no noodles none of that stuff That's so but it's, it's it's coming along pretty good um so yeah, so like, like that's what I'm thinking. I'll just wear, I'll get an Oilers jersey. I think I'm actually gonna fucking do that, man. Or you know, what I could do too is just wear my Team Canada jersey as well, right? So I don't know. Well, I'll figure it out as when when the time comes. Um, you you've never been down to a Flames game with an Oilers jersey on, have you? No, yeah, I got to experience the round. No, I, I I would not like. I was I was thinking about getting one of those Oilers license plates that the uh, strapping it to your chest. No, no, I was like for for my car, and but I travel down to Calgary 
every you year they get a right. window smashed. Yeah, I just don't want to. It's in the back of your head. You know, like, yeah, you, you don't want to dangle the carrot in front of the rabbit, right? Yeah, like remove any opportunity. Like I do travel to Calgary to visit a grandson, so um, I would not. I don't think I'll get that played. No reason to fly my flag in enemy territory. Yes, yes. Because there's idiots everywhere. Right. Yeah. Is that the right time we're on? Is it, or we're not even... That's the right time. I guess we're just going to wait till the end of... Yeah. Until, okay. Um, what else was I going to say here on that? Um, oh, yeah. So I was going to just quickly talk. So, yeah, we got the Flames uh, Battle of Alberta coming up here. Uh, yeah, Cal... Ooh! Flames play the night before the oh, do they? Oilers, so that bodes the Oilers well. Yeah. Let's hope the Blues take their pound of flesh before they meet our team. Well, I, I got a feeling what they might do here is, uh, um, I think they're going to go with probably with Talbot against the Blues and then Riddick. Yeah, Talbot is hot right now, right? He is. He is. But Riddick is, uh, he's playing well again too, except for the last game for the All-Star break, so... But anyways, uh, regardless, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, I'm looking forward to those two games coming up here. Um, so let's just uh, stick on the on the the Edmonton Oilers here and mm -hmm. some some news that uh, Mr. A. Blunt shared on the. the yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. how, how do you feel about this? A young a young gut player. Well, he's not young. He's 27 or 28, yeah. right? But uh, Brandon Manning. Old yeah. enough to know better. He got suspended for uh, using a racial slur. Now, when people are losing their jobs for this kind of these kind of mannerisms nowadays, is, is it fair to just give this guy a suspension, or like should it be har like a, a harsher penalty? Like this, this, this. You know, this ain't a a, a game thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not an in play. Like, it's not like a you know a Cross check to the head, or this is like they're nowadays they're taking. Ask Don Jerry. I know. And oh. look at the. Uh, oh, we're coming up to the end. So yeah, what's uh, Bill Peters? He got fired for stuff that he did years ago. Like this is something that Brandon Manning did a couple days ago, and he's well aware of the social climate. Um, clearly, if he's saying those things, he's he's definitely he, careless, but he's also definitely a racist. He, and, he's thinking it. Yeah. Like he's thinking it. It's in his head. It's in his head. It's in his head. So he's thinking it. And, and it fell out of his mouth. He, he apologized to the player for mm -hmm. saying it. But it, is that, like, that, that to me, that does, he says he's learned more than, uh, more than, um, the learning curve is bigger than, you know, him actually saying it, I guess. So, something like that, along with you saying. But, uh, um, um, I don't know. I just, uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm really on, I, I really don't know what the punishments should be. I want to say the guy should just be kicked out of the league. Out. Gone, you know, for, for doing something like that. Because you yeah, fire, you're firing other yeah. people. If you're paralleling it to what's happened in the past, like what the Bill Peters, Don Cherry, uh, then it would be expected. It's it's expected it's from the expected play, for the players, players too. To be yeah, yeah, Gonzo, Gonzo. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's uh, that's it. Yeah. So, thank you everyone for joining us for another edition of Sync Sports, a subsidiary of Sync Broadcasting. Uh, do join us on our Facebook page, that is at Sync Sports, and enjoy what you see. Chime in, and we'll see you again in another time. Keep the conversation going and have your say. You can follow the guys by going to Sync Broadcasting on Facebook, Instagram at Sync Sports, Twitter at Sync Sports Inc. This is a Sync Broadcasting production.